Hi, this video is a brief introduction to the recent OpenSprinkler hardware updates. So OpenSprinkler is an open source, internet-based sprinkler timer slash controller. It is based on the ATmega328 microcontroller and the open source Arduino software. Now, there are many commercial sprinkler timers on the market today, but few of them are internet-based or have any sort of uh, web connectivity. And OpenSprinkler is designed to fill this gap. Um, not only does it have many features that you can only find on high-end, multi-hundred dollar products, but also its design is completely open, giving you the full freedom of modifying both the hardware and the software code. The first version, OpenSprinkler 1.0, debuted in October last year. Uh, so in a couple of weeks, uh, it will be OpenSprinkler's first anniversary. Now, since version 1.0, we have integrated many suggestions by users, and it has gone through several uh, cycles of changes until version 1.4, which is the most current version. So this video is to give you a quick overview of the new changes in 1.4, and please refer to the previous videos for aggregated updates. First, let's take a look at the layout of the circuit board. Uh, I'm going to take off the LCD for now. So as you can see, it has the ATmega328 microcontroller on the top, an Ethernet controller, Ethernet jack, and three push buttons on the right, a built-in USB programmer and USB connector on the left-hand side, and a shift register, triax, and screw terminals on the bottom uh, to interface with your sprinkler solenoids. Now, because it uses a single power supply design from your 24 volt AC sprinkler transformer, it has a built in uh, switching regulator that converts the input down to 5 volt with pretty high efficiency. There is also an extension board uh, connector here uh, that you can use to expand the number of stations by using an extension cable like this one. And there's also a rain sensor port here. And finally, there are some pin headers that you can use to connect to external components like uh, humidity and temperature sensors or an uh, RF transmitter. So the main addition in this version 1.4 is uh, a DS1307 uh, real-time clock, or RTC, which is this little chip here, and the associated uh, backup coin uh, battery on the upper left corner. So this allows the controller to keep accurate timing even if internet or power is lost. The first time you turn on OpenSprinkler, or after it's back online after an internet or a power loss, uh, the software will uh, try to use NTP uh, time sync to automatically set or adjust the current time based on your time zone. And once the time is set and the water schedules are programmed, the controller can operate truly independently without any computer or without even any network connection. Previous versions of OpenSprinkler have an external EE prom which has now been removed to make space for the RTC. Uh, fortunately, the software now stores the program data and settings entirely in the internal EEPROM of the microcontroller, so it does not need any external EEPROM anymore. Another major change is that starting from this version, we have created a surface mount or SMT variant of the board, which uses the same circuit design but replaces most through-hole components with uh, surface mount components. And this is mainly created uh, to improve our productivity for making fully assembled and tested products. There are a few minor differences between the two versions. For example, the SMT version has two uh, crystals and the backup battery installed at the back of the PCB. Also, it has two extra analog pins, A6 and A7, in the pinout area here. So it's a better choice if you're looking for more pins to connect to external components. If you are curious, here are some images of the SMT board taken under a 20x microscope. So this shows uh, several components that have been soldered onto the board.
In addition to the hardware design, we have also significantly improved the software uh, to provide more features and more intuitive user interface. The latest firmware update includes many new features such as program-based scheduling where you can set a program by selecting the days, uh, stations, uh, time and water duration. You can add up to 32 programs, each of which can be individually enabled or disabled. The program preview feature is a very handy tool to visualize your program schedules for each day uh, so you can easily identify if there is any scheduling mistake. You can also define custom station names where you can give each station uh, a unique and uh, memorable name which will show up on all web pages. And in addition, the per station control of master valves uh, allows you to define on a station-by-station -station basis whether the master valve will be activated or not. The station delay time and master on-off adjusted time allow you to fine-tune the times that each station uh, opens and closes. So this is helpful in situations where you want to prevent water throttling or uh, cope with the water pressure during consecutive station runs. The Run Once program is an another new feature in this firmware. So here you can uh, interrupt the, the normal program mode and insert a one-time program uh, where you can define a, uh, the water time for each station. And once you submit, this program will run immediately and the controller will automatically return back to the normal mode after the Run Once program is completed. You can also stop the uh, Run Once program at any time by pressing Stop All Stations. Similar to the previous firmware, there is an integrated menu mode where you can click on these buttons to uh, open or close the station. And the menu mode is great for sending direct HTTP commands to control the stations. Some other added features include water level or percentage control, where you can uh, globally scale up and down the water time uh, depending on the local weather conditions, and support for a full range of time zones, and support for automatic detection of RTC and automatic uh, internet reconnect. And this firmware is uh, compatible with all previous generations of the Open Sprinkler hardware. Finally, similar uh, to before, the um, firmware supports up to 32 stations. So as you can see, it has a pretty rich set of software features. Many of these are only available on high-end commercial sprinkler timers. Open Sprinkler not only uh, tries to excel in functionality and usability, but also its software is completely open and free. You're welcome to make changes to the source code and contribute to the project through Open Sprinkler's GitHub repository. Okay, that's all. For details, please go to www.opensprinkler.com. Also make sure to check the firmware release videos, uh, which gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the software. Thank you for watching.